Ladies and gentlemen, um, I've been in this chamber many times. I served in this legislature for 12 years in the House, starting in 1955. But I've never spoken at this, at this position. I was always in Delegate Anderson's seat before. But uh, I spent my life in the oil and gas business. I have a degree in petroleum from Rietta College. I grew up during the Depression in Ritchie County, where I served from in here. And at that time, there were no jobs. You know, even school teachers, women school teachers, couldn't teach back at that time because they would take the job away from the bread owner and the earner in a family. And so a job is very important, I think. And Ritchie County supplied a lot of jobs to oil and gas people, including the delegate uh, of Woody Ireland's grandfather, who served a lot, uh, surveyed a lot of locations. And I would just say one thing. Thank all of you environmentalists who are concerned about the environment for being here and working on this bill. But when you're considering this legislation, just please consider the economic impact and the job impact Thank that you. this legislation has. Thank you, Senator Deem. Thank you. We're very concerned about the lack of incentives for drillers to negotiate and work with surface owners on the locations of well sites and access roads. We're concerned that some provisions are actually taking us backwards with regard to surface owners' rights by making the surface estate servient to the mineral estate. We're concerned about the well location restrictions, which are inadequate and allow wells to be too close to people's homes and water wells and which allow the DEP to grant variances to those restrictions. We're concerned about the lack of notice to neighboring landowners and the public. And we're concerned about the limitation on the presumption of liability for water contamination, which is limited to six months and this is just unacceptable. We, <laughs> we just have too many concerns to, to go through. We do want a bill. We think the citizens deserve a strong bill, but we don't want to see a bill that's just taking baby steps to address these leaps forward in technology, and, and we definitely don't want something that's taking us backwards. Thank, Thank you, you, Ms. Archer. The bill as introduced by the governor provides for additional capacity for DEP through a 1,400% increase in the fees that we pay. It provides certainty to the public that the enforcement and the laws and the regs are in place to do the job. And it furthermore provides clarity to the industry so we can continue to invest in this state to attract outside investment, the kind of investment like you've heard about with the potential of a cracker that could reinvigorate our manufacturing sector. Thank you all very much. You know, there's an awesome Christmas tree out in the rotunda out there made with, with lots of handmade ornaments. But there's one ornament missing, this one. The, uh, the governor's Marcellus bill is an early Christmas gift to drillers. The select committee worked hard all summer to fix the woefully lacking Senate bill that they, uh, w they started out with. Uh, however, this deliberate process was hijacked by closed door meetings over the past month with industry lobbyists. The result is the bill now before us. Uh, this bill is a step backwards for farmers and other service owners uh, who uh, want to protect their land. And I just want to say one thing also. We're not against jobs in the gas fields. We want to see people working. We want to see gas produced. But we need a strong, well thought out bill with rules so we don't make the same mistakes that we made with coal. Uh, Thank you, Mr. Zuckett.